Peggy 18. Hi, this is Nathan from Access TV, and I'm here with Rob. Hello. And Rob is going to play through the first mission of Aliens Colonial Marines. Come on, you, Rob. Yeah, I'm scared as well. This is Corporal Dwayne Hicks. I remember him. He's a hero. He's an alien. At what? this point, it, it, yes, and at this point in the story, Corporal Hicks has been, this is after Alien 3, uh, has been, he survived aliens and then just died in like a, in an escape pod, fire, planet, crash incident. So him being played here by Michael Bean is very exciting to people who've been following aliens for a long time. And this is his distress call, which sets up the action of the game. So that kind of takes place after the end of Aliens then, and that little distress call we saw there. You assume that he sent that before, after they escaped from the Aliens, so he wasn't being chased. Um, but before they all jetted off to uh, to their doom <laughs> at the beginning of Alien 3. I like the sound of the music, it sounds very mm. much like... Well, Aliens, I, yeah. think it, I think it is that music. One of my favourite things about the Alien series is the way that they use the uh, 20th Century Fox uh, fanfare at the beginning of Alien 3, <laughs> and they sustain the last note and they kind of sour it. Da -da 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 it's That's really hard. We find it on YouTube. I would have preferred it if the Aliens Clone Marines logo had appeared Rise gradually. This like the titles for all the other films. Oh, what you mean the the eye? Yeah. And then, yeah. This is obviously a big, an homage, Rob, to the feet, to the waking up Marine section of Aliens. There's Bishop. That is an almost identical shot in uh, Aliens of the pilot lady, also wearing aviators, but she's just taking off from the flight deck on board the Salarco. I'm talking all over the uh, the exposition. That is Bishop. Yeah, a different Bishop, played by Lance Henriksen, for real. You know, I was thinking when these similarly classed marine ships talk to each other, and they've all got a Bishop on board, that could get quite confusing. Send that to Bishop. Which Bishop? You know that one. Our one. Their one. I guess there's just one bishop on each ship, now. Yeah, still. Do you know the thing about the way that the androids are named in uh, the Alien series, Rob? No. First one was called Ash. Second one was called Bishop. Third one was called Cool. And then in Prometheus, he was called David. A, B, C, D. Yeah. It's a little tidbit for you. Was that deliberate? You'd David's so. my favourite of all the androids. He's fantastic. David was amazing. So your plan currently is they found the Salako. This is after Alien 3. They found Attention this... Of the USS uh, I had to say that. There is a good attempt, you know. Like the the Cameron's dialogue for the Leave Marines was Marines brilliant. It's what makes Aliens good. And the they're having a good go. So you're on the Sephora. They're just saying what I was going to say. What is it doing here, Rob? Hmm? What is it doing here? So basically, the Salako is in orbit over the prison planet, which is where Alien 3 took place. I've not seen Alien 3. And now, the Salako is back over Hadley's Hope, which is where Aliens took place. So the question is, how did it get from one place to the other? And why did it get from one place to the other? And these new colonial marines are being sent in to find out. What do you think they're going to find on the Salako, Rob? Some aliens. A teddy bear's picnic. In your winter, and I like the name Winter because it reminds me of Dick Winter from Band of Brothers. I play Band of Brothers, I play by Damien Lewis. You're revealing yourself to be a pop culture ignoramus. Yeah. Oh, let's just shoot some things. Ah, oh, who's been playing this before me? <laughs> that, that would be me. That's better. Probably the biggest attraction of playing an Aliens game to me is the is this the firmware and the technology and James Cameron especially. What? That's not right. What else going on here? Oh, that's, I see. That's the umbilical they call it. The links to two ships. 
Explosive oh, that's decompression. Cracking. That's cracking. I probably don't want to be in here. You probably want to hurry up. Now, what I like about it is, is the way that the hardware is looks like, you know, realistic, futuristic but realistic, and used. All the hatches and doorways and lights. There's loads of revolving lights in this game, Rob. Yeah, it's a very like 80s view of the future still, though, isn't it? It's like being in a really slow disco. <laughs> It is quite an 80s view of the future, but I who's like to say the, it's yeah, not the right I one? I like the, view, that, the 80s view of the future. It I mean, that is my view of the future, as someone <laughs> born in the 80s. This door's locked. Yep. It's open now. There's a Dead Space style. Sometimes the doors take as long to open as the game needs to load the next room. That's O'Neill. O'Neill is your buddy. He's got an enormous gun. That's good. See what I mean about like a slow disco. It's very much like the films, though. The aesthetic yeah. of it is really quite impressive. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I mean, they bring that classic. in early. They don't waste any time. One of the most influential bits of the movie in loads of games. You can just have it. Oh, that noise. That's a bad dot, Rob. That noise is always always means trouble, doesn't it? Really distinctive. Almost 30 years since the film came out. Like that. Really? I thought it came out in 86. It is, 27 years ago. Wow. Now the thing you've got to check out on the right Ah, it's Bishop's legs. Half an unidentified synthetic splattered across the deck. Which half? Well, he ain't saying much. Then find me a half that does. Actual half. And part of the reason that's important is because Lance Henriksen is in Alien 3, so the top half of him was needed in that film oh for, right. for crucial plot information. So is this where... Ripley had the massive battle with the alien queen. It is, yeah. My yeah. right hand. So that's, I guess, that big milky patch is uh, where Bishop was dragged across the deck by the tail of the alien queen. There's a lot of him all over the place, actually. This is really. Looks like there's been like a dairy accident. This is pretty cool. Well, didn't they use that ship to escape? I guess that's the Sephora's. They've landed in there. Where am I supposed to be going now? Eh? Here. The glowing I think that, door. yeah, the glowing arrow might have something to do with it. The chronology of, uh, it's been 27 years in our world, Rob, but uh, I think it's 17 weeks since the, that means bring up press LT. Uh-oh. But it's only been a few weeks since the... Hello. It's going to be a cat, right? It's always a cat three. first before it's an alien. How would a cat have survived for 17 weeks on its own in a deserted... Oh, cats are pretty sure. resourceful. It's definitely going to be something that's not an alien. <laughs> a giant it's air always, vent always cat. Yeah. See? I knew it. I don't think that was it. Uh-oh. Oh. It's moving away from me. I think it's gone through the hole in the floor. Or maybe you need to go through the hole in the floor. Down to the left. Ah, I'm getting hurt by fire. Oh, I know what you need to do. If you go over to this door over here. You can use your... It's quite atmospheric. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be all action straight away. They did I'm actually they feeling they quite apprehensive. They talked it up as a big action sequel, haven't they? Oh, dear. This is bad news. This is a uh, xenomorph oh mucus all over the place. Is that what it is, mucus? It I'm guessing so. I guess they produce it through their mouths. They get they get like busy with it real quick, don't they? Because in aliens, they're they're very insectile in their behaviour, aren't they? Yeah, they're kind they're of wasp hive, aren't they? They're queen. Loads of. HR Giga style spines oh dear. Jesus, no. That's not very nice. No. This is horrible. 
Yeah, well, it's I guess it's supposed to be, isn't it? And it quite disappointing if it was if it really was a teddy bear's picture. I chew. Those are the ones you want to worry about, Rob. The unhatched ones. Yeah. This is the way that you collect armor. You find helmets and jackets and stuff, and it helps your armor go up a bit. I think um, if you bring up your uh, motion sensor, oh, someone's you know. calling me. Yeah. Keys. Now, having seen a man sell a tape to the wall with alien mucus, who uh, <gasps> oh, dear. oh dear, with a hole in his chest, you'd be you'd be apprehensive about cutting down keys, surely. Oh wow, wow! Oh, I'm fighting off a xenomorph with oh, bare hands. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot! Where is it? Get up, get up and use your big gun. Where's it gone? I don't know. Use your motion sensor. He's over there somewhere. Oh, there's another dead man. He's got. A, he can't be on the. He could be on the ceiling. That's the the danger with the iron sights. It's quite slow to move around. He's there, Rob. He's on your head. He's got. A bit, where is he? He must be just around that corner. Go and surprise him. Ooh. Oh God! Hello. You've hit him in the face. Shoot him. Oh, wow. he's, he's got acid all over you. You've lost yourself there. I think he's behind you. I don't think you can go that way. You have to go forward and left. Oh, right and then left. Now I'll bind you. You've gone mad. Straight over that over that spine on the yeah. I have no sense of direction at all. You will soon discover. Straight straight on. Those are the eggs you shot. And then left. There he is. Come on. We'll be there in a sec, Keys. <laughs> We're slightly lost. Support Arsenal. This is Winters. I've located keys from Rhino 23. There's some bodies down here, but some are missing. There are one or two Marines missing from Rhino 23. Come on, Keys. Let's go and kill some aliens. Hey, keys, what do you think about the fact that your entire unit has had their chest cavity exploded from the inside? This is Keys from 23, sir. Our mission was to recover the flight data from the Zawada. Son, I gave you that mission and it's over. Now regroup and come. We have to know what caused this. The flight recorder can get us back. With all due respect, sir. Your squad means you shut your goddamn mouth and follow your orders. Actual out. He doesn't seem to be too traumatized, does he? I don't know, he's stumbling around a bit. Oh, there's a dead face hugger. Oh, that guy's ill. He's got, like, stuff up there. <laughs> Are you going off reservation, Rob? You're disobeying the orders of Captain Cruz, even though he's got a cool surname. I think you're gonna have to laser that door open. Not laser, burn. Quick, get to it, man. That's oh, alright. Keys has got this one. The cool thing about um, the using the uh, torches to open the doors is you can also seal doors, which comes in handy later when the aliens are giant and terrifying. They're getting close already. Oh man. Your health bar goes... It will regenerate within those segments. So once it goes down past the segment, it won't fill up again. Oh, there's lots of them. Yeah. Whoa, it's like a proper infestation. Like straight away, the action is pretty manic. Yeah, man, that's. Uh... Wow, I'm very nearly dead straight away after one encounter. Where are they now? Go and grab the flight recorder. It's on that desk. Maybe there's a plaster over there as well. 